Who should face Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League quarterfinals? In this video, we will be discussing all of that. Who's the perfect starting lineup? But I want to notify you guys, I want you to put your tactical review questions, statements, hot takes, whatever, in the comment section because I want to discuss that tomorrow and post a video about it before the game. But guys, as always, please do subscribe to the channel. It's going to help us a lot to get the family to grow. Thank you for your undying support, but let's get right into the video. Okay, so when you talk about starting lineup against PSG, I think in goal, it's no, it's no more clear who's going to start there. It's going to be Ter Stegen, and he's going to be really important, especially with the long kicking that we saw recently from Barcelona. That's going to, I feel like that's going to be insanely important, especially with the high press that you're going to see from these PSG forwards, right? Especially from Mbappe and, and Dembele in this instance. And then at left back, I think Joao Cancelo is the obvious choice there for us. There's not really anybody that's going to be able to replace him there. Cancelo is the, just the best. Not only in terms of his attacking over on that side, he can even be in this area right here. He's great at attacking. But I think also what he offers you, let's say we have to do something different, then Cancelo can easily just come into that midfield tuck in and also be like a midfielder. So great to have him. He's the obvious choice there. I would even start him if there was if 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 we had a great left back, we would I would still start him. And then at left center back, I would start Inigo Martinez. And a lot of people will disagree with me on this, but here's why I would start him. Inigo is left footed, right? Not only is gonna be able to switch the ball over here, not only will he be able to play the ball over the top here in these areas right here. Not only will he be able to find the likes of Lewandowski is going to drop there, but also defensively, let's say we have we are in this area right here and we have to get out, he will be able to kick the ball long. Right-footed players would have to come to their right side and then kick. He can just kick through the left, right? And he can hook it this way as well. So Inigo is just a better option for me. I would start him there. And um, you're going to see in a second why also. Then I would play Kubarsi on the right center back and same 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 reason here right he can do the same things that i just mentioned about inigo but just on the left side and then if we are in danger you saw what the skid did against las palmas he's long kicking as well so you're gonna get that from both sides if you start these two together and um you don't really need kunde in this game that's why i would be starting ronaldo rajo at right back and we all know why is that for mbappe mainly and then if you mix uh, Raho being strong and the great defender and also the intelligence that this kid has you know Kubarshi then we don't we shouldn't have a problem dealing with Mbappe I just don't trust Kunde so this would be my backline against PSG in the Champions League okay so moving to the midfield I think this should shouldn't be any anyone else than these three guys that I'm about to show you because I just feel like bringing back injured guys into the starting 11 is just going to break the rhythm because the guys have, uh, they are not match fit, whatever, because they haven't played in so long, they came from injuries, just play these guys already, right? It's important and that in the midfield that we should have Fermin Lopez due to the fact that this guy, the runs he makes in behind and also the defensive capability, he's really intelligent, but mostly the runs. If we can find him on a regular basis, this guy will destroy defenses. So, so Fermin has to start, guys. Simply, like I said, simply because of the fact that the runs he makes in behind and the positions that he finds himself in. So Fermin Lopez needs to start this game against PSG and because he adds to it, right? He brings something different that the likes of Gundogan brings. So Fermin Lopez needs to be in this starting 11. And then also, you need to play a defensive-minded player. And I would start Christensen here. Because I don't think Oriel has what it takes. I wouldn't bring Frankie back immediately as well. So Christensen has to start. And he's not a perfect center, center, uh, central defensive midfielder for us. But I mean, the guy's been doing good. He's been excellent, right? And um, you don't want to start Gunduan there either. You want Gunduan up a little bit higher. So Christensen has to do for now. And then also, like I said, Ilkay Gunduan. And this guy is just operating on a different level if he's higher up the pitch. So you're going to have Gunduan who can drop back and create that double pivot if you need it. And um, you can also have Gunduan a little bit higher who can connect, especially with the, if he has runners ahead of him. You know how Gunduan gets when he... Uh, 
when he operates in the spaces that he is based, right? So that would be my midfield, you know, just start the normal midfielders. I don't think PSG can put any midfield combination together and be better than Barcelona's. Uh, so yeah, Christensen, Fermin and Gundogan, great midfield pairing, great excellence, you know, if you need to overload the midfield, you can bring Cancelo in. You don't need to pick another uh, winger on the left wing, which is what probably Xavi will be doing. But I don't agree with that. This is the midfield that we have to go with. You know, when it comes to the attack, I don't think Xavi can get this wrong, really. You know, it's much easier to pick this attack. And I would actually start Rafinha on the left side, right? Because this is very important for us. This is why I would start this back line either way as well. Because you saw what happened when Barcelona started this back line of four. That allowed Rafinha to come in because you want Joao Cancelo to be up high. This is why I would start Rafinha to get this position right here because he can be found in the areas here and then he would drive up. You know, also with Joao Cancelo that he receives the ball on the left side and then this player will be drawn out and then Rafinha is a left footer who can actually cross the ball to over to this side and find his fellow strikers, right? But also if he can come if he comes through this midfield i've talked about this already he can then find the goal easily right so so there's just so many options barcelona have really but i think rafinha on the left side makes so much sense for barcelona to have you know and then also this way you can have the the box midfield as well right you can have the box midfield gundogan a little bit deeper if he has to be deep right and then barcelona will have uh, numerical advantages everywhere so Rafinha on the left side and then you have of course Robert Lewandowski I feel sad for Victor Victor Roque because Lewandowski is just so much better he understands much better he's for the uh, a guy for the big occasions and since PSG is going to be attacking the chances from of him thing, finding space it's just a better option a lot of people say Victor Roque needs to start I've seen that uh, so on Facebook, some pages are saying or suggesting that Vitoroke should start. That's a mistake. Lewandowski understands better and PSG is going to attack more. He's also taller than the centre-backs of PSG. So Lewandowski needs to be in that central position. And then, of course, you're going to have Lamin Yamal. I don't think we should keep him on the bench. He should start. You, we, we need to crumble PSG as soon as possible. If PSG is up 2-0, what, why would you then bring on Lamin? Let's kill them first, right? And then just destroy them. So that would be my attack for the game against PSG. Rafinha, Lewandowski and Lamin Yamal. Then you have Ferran Torres, Joao Felix on the bench and Vitor Roque as well. So you can we can replace our whole front three. And those guys bring something different from the bench for Barcelona. And Ferran Torres then can come off the right as well. We can move Rafinha to the right and Joao Felix can go to the whatever. Then there's just so many, so much more options to have if we start this front three for Barcelona against PSG. So that's my perfect 11 to start this match against PSG. However, it is just mine. I would love to hear who you guys think should start. Also, give me your statements, your hot takes about this game against PSG. Also, give me your lineups. But you have to write tactical review first, followed by your statement, hot take, lineup, if you want me to discuss that, guys. But as always, please do subscribe to the channel. It's very lovely making content for when with you guys. You give me a lot of ideas. Please continue to support the channel, comment your ideas, and also subscribe. But we have a mammoth task against PSG, you know, how Barcelona is going to fare against them. But as always, thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.